So a question you might be asking yourself, and it's a great question to ask yourself, and if you're not asking it, <laughs> then this is a really good thing to think about, which I'm going to forward right now, and then I'm going to give you an answer to. But is uh, should you be focusing upon, focusing your efforts upon learning to build websites, or should you be learning how to build apps? So a lot of students ask me this question, should I build websites or should I go into app development? And I always say, you should learn to build websites. <laughs> and uh, the reason for this is because if you look at the data, the data shows that unless you're going to be one of the top 25 to 50 apps, you don't have a chance. Because 80 to 90 percent of all app usage is focused upon the top 25 to 50 apps. And some sources show it's only the top five apps. So unless you could build a world-class app and you have the resources behind you to be in the top 50 or even the top five, you're going to miss out. Unless you could do that, you're going to miss out on 80 to 90 percent of all app usage. And so the main takeaway is that if you want to acquire users, right, apps versus web, user acquisition, if you want to acquire users, you really want to go into web development because the average mobile user, user uses 24 apps per month, right? There's that 25 number. Again, 80 to 90% of all app usage is in the top 25 apps. And think about your own personal experience, like how many apps do you use each month? The average user, only 25 or even less, right? But they'll visit 10 to 30 times more websites every month. Right. So if you, you know, people will casually go to a website, but they won't casually go to an app. And so for me, there's an analogy I use when students ask me this question. I give them the bus dinner analogy. <laughs> and so the bus dinner analogy is that you will casually talk to somebody on the bus. Right. You see somebody with a textbook and you'll be say, you'll you'll say, hey, cool, you're taking that course. I took that course. Who's your professor? You know, how's it going? Like, oh, do you like that? Or what do you think about this? You'll casually talk to somebody on the bus. But you are going to think twice before inviting them home to dinner. <laughs> so same way you'll casually visit a website, but you're going to think twice before installing an app on your machine. It's a much more involved commitment to install an app on your machine. <laughs> you're inviting that app into your personal space and you have to like, you know, get, grant these permissions, right? Just like if you invited somebody in your house, they now have access to seeing some pretty intimate stuff. When you install an app, you got to like, hey, can they see your contacts? Can they know your location? You have to make these decisions about sharing some pretty personal, intimate information. But going to a website, no big deal. <laughs> it's like talking to somebody on a bus. All right, so that's my analogy, web versus apps. <clears throat> and so the main takeaway is the web offers more potential for user acquisition. And unless you have the potential of being one of the top 50 apps, you really should focus on web development. So Rand Fishkin has a really great talk on this. You could Google mobile web versus uh, mobile apps, Rand Fishkin, and just check that out. I highly recommend it. Take a look at it. And, uh, and he has really great sources. So it's evidence-based, it's research-based, all the data he provides. And the data I just gave you came from Rand's talk. It's kind of like the highlights of his talk. And, uh, and here are just some of the takeaways from his talk. Most new discovery comes from the mobile web, word of mouth, and app store top lists, right? So mobile web and word of mouth is where most new discovery comes from. And search, social, and word of mouth are the top three sources of mobile web referrals. So finding th something through a search engine, right, which could include buying AdWords. Social, oh, somebody on Facebook or Twitter, Instagram or whatever said, you know, take a look at this website. Or word of mouth, right? People are just talking about it. It's in the press and the news. So that's uh, where most web referrals come from. You want to focus your marketing efforts. You could pause the video right here and just read some of the highlights from Rand's talk. So go ahead and pause the video. And you could also pause the video right here and read some more highlights from Rand's talk. I really like these highlights. We are going to be learning all of this in this course. And UX, by the way, provide a great UX. UX stands for user experience. So we'll be learning all of that in this course. And, uh, and then here are all of his notes from Rand's talk. So I just like these notes. We, we saw the green ones and the purple ones just a moment ago. But you could take a look at the other ones here by pausing the video and just reading them. 
And then finally, the last thing I want to point out is a website called whatwebcando.today. And this website uh, shows you what, what you could build with the web. And not a lot of people are aware of all of the potential of web develop, development, all the things that the web can do, including push notifications. So the web has really progressed to a point where it's rivaling and challenging apps because, you know, it could do a lot of the same things apps can do. All right. So we're not going to uh, learn all of that deep, you know, like push notifications and everything in this course, but that's what you can get to with web development. So that's a little bit on websites versus apps. And I strongly believe that learning the web, what you're doing right now, is the best thing you can do. And it's much better than learning app development. If you're looking to acquire users and start something and have people learn about it, or, you know, whatever you're wanting to present out there in the world, it's much more likely that people are going to find you on the web than they will through apps.